Hey dudes, it's Beldor111, and I am psyched to do this Let's Play of uh, Pokemon Silver version. Now this isn't Soul Silver, as you see, it's uh, Copyright 2000. So we are totally getting into the old game. I love the nostalgia of this game, and it really takes me back to the, uh, I wouldn't call them the good old days, but more like the glory days. That sounds appropriate. Um, let's see. Uh, day 10 o'clock. The first thing you notice here, other than the fact that this is the um, Game Boy Color version, rather than the Game Boy Advance version, it, if, for those of you who remember me, I'm the guy who um, did the Let's Play of Pokemon Fire Red, where you, um, no, you have to catch the three legendary birds if you want to at some point, and I was the guy who caught Moltres with an, a single Ultra Ball, and then ten minutes later caught Articuno, also with a single Ultra Ball. So, you know, those of you who do know me, like all four of you who do, uh... <laughs> Yeah, that's me, and I'm back to do... Th and this is, by the way, this is my absolute favorite game that I have ever played in my life. And there have been better games made than this one, simply because uh, since the year 2000, the producers have had more time to create better games, but this... I really just play this for the nostalgia. And, uh, let's see, I wonder if the PC... Nope, the PC doesn't have a... Po uh, potion in it, but um, the reason I'm playing this game is to kind of commemorate the old game because uh, right now this is just a little bit before as I'm making this uh, let's play. This is a little bit before Soul Silver and Heart Gold come out, so let's see. I just want to um, before the new games come out, I want to go over like the old glory days. And the nostalgia of how it used to be. Anyway, uh, do you know how to use the phone? Alright, so even if you say yes, what your mom says is, Well, here's how you use the phone, I'll just remind you anyway, even though you already know. So, what I like about this game, it introduces a lot of new stuff. I know, oh, by the way, check this out. This is Kamen. And you're probably wondering why I named myself Kenta. Look at him. What are you staring at? And he punts me. Look at that. The reason I named myself Kenta is because uh, in Japan, when they had that Raikou special, like Raikou Legend of Thunder, you remember it aired in America, and um, the guy featured in that special, his name was Jimmy in America. And I've never forgiven them for that. I mean, you don't... Jimmy is an average person's name. And I apologize to anybody named Jimmy out there. But uh, I preferred Kenta because, you know, I I just liked the tradition a lot better. And I'll tell you why in the future. But anyway, I'm looking through the starter Pokemon here. And that was Cyndaquil back there. And that was, by the way, that was Kenta's Pokemon. And that was Totodile. But if you remember from the, um, uh, the Leaf, I mean Fire Red version, I used Bulbasaur as my starter Pokemon. And once again, you see that I'm using a grass type. I like my grass type starters. And uh, I'll tell you why in just a little bit, but for now I kind of want to concentrate on the plot. Like I said, Silver Version introduces a lot of new stuff. Like, um, the first game in Pokemon Red and Blue, the originals, what happened was uh, they introduced, you know, how Pokemon are super powerful creatures that you can use to battle each other, or as I like to call them, uh, I mean, they say they evolve, but I call it growth. But anyway, so they introduce that, they introduce types, and they introduce, well, you could be a 10-year-old trainer and you could fight each other. But, you know, they brought that to the table, and they got the gym badges concept, all the basics of basics. This game introduces for the first time the concept of time inside of a game. Um, and that's just like the first thing you notice. After the concept of time, they start uh, going in about all this other stuff, like day and night. Like, I was really blown away when I saw the daylight and the nighttime stuff. And the hold items, 
you see that? I'm hitting the space bar, so it's going a little bit fast through the battles, because I don't want to bore you with slow battles. But, as you can see, they have hold items in this game now. So, oop, I'm going to get another centrip. Uh, hold items is one of the really big cornerstones of strategic Pokemon battling. And, no, this is the first game to introduce that concept. And, by the way, berry trees, this is also uh, the first time you see one of these. Like, in this game, I think, if you didn't know any better, you might think that this was the first Pokemon game. Now, um... Like I said, the other games have their own merits. For instance, uh, Fire, I mean, uh, Ruby and Sapphire, they introduced the Pokemon with nature system. What, you know, how you get 10% more for one certain nature and then 10% less. And say, for instance, the bold nature gives you less 10% less attack power, but then 10% more defense. They were the first to do that. Um, but. Oh, he gave me a map card. Awesome. Um, but also, they introduced double battling. And I like that feature a lot. That's one of my favorites, really. Let's see. I better heal up Chikorita here. Um, Alright, there's another reason I chose Chikorita, by the way. I, I want to talk about the three starters for a second. Alright, so in the Raifu special, Kenta, he chose... And I'll get into why uh, I'm picking Kenta over Jimmy later. It's not just because of the American name. There's also more to it than that. But Kenta, he chose Typhlosion. That was uh, his featured Pokemon for that special. Now, me, I didn't do that. And my reason is, uh, later on in the game, the three legendary Pokemon of this game, and I think are the best designed three legendary Pokemon I've ever seen, are Raikou, Entei, and Suicune. And you guys know this. But, uh, if I'm going to use Entei later on, and I do use legendaries that are allowed in Battle Tower. Ooh, Poison Cure Berry. If I'm just going to have Entei later, why do I need to have Ty uh, Typhlosion? And likewise with Totodile, why is it that, you know, if I'm going to be getting a Red Gyarados, or a Lapras on Friday, or Suicune, or all the other awesome water types, you know, why bother having for alligator? But there's a little more to it than that. Anyway, I want to get into Professor Oak here for a second. So, like, ah, so you're a Kenta. Uh, I was just, uh, I was just visiting in here. So, oh, a rare Pokemon. Let's see. Hmm, I see. I understand why Elm gave you this Pokemon. All right, to researchers, Pokemon are friends. He saw that you treat it with love and care. Ah, oh, you seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? So. What I like about this game, again, um, you notice how in Pokemon, and in a lot of games, but mainly Pokemon, they compliment you a lot. Like, the people who pull for you, they will constantly sing praises to you. And in this game, oh, oh hang on, special event. Alright, Professor Elm, he's like, Kenta, it's a disaster. Oh, it's just terrible, what should I do? Oh no, oh no, please get back here right now. So, something's come up, and you guys know what it is, those of you who have been playing this game. I mean, if you haven't played this game, why would you even be watching this Let's Play? Obviously, you knew about it. But, anyway, so, the people who pull for you in the game, they really compliment you a lot. And it makes you feel good about yourself. But, there's even more to it than that. Uh, the people you go up against, your enemies, they will belittle you, and then when you beat them... Then they will compliment you. Or some of them some of them are like, well, bull crap. You just beat me out of fluke and I'll get you next time. And that's pretty much what this guy says. Yes, kick off the event here. This is Kamen. K-A-M-O-N. And yeah, that's his name in the Raikou special. And I, I, I'm not sure where I found that. They, they don't actually mention it. But uh, anyway... Let's see, I'm going to have to make this battle fast because we're running a little short on time. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to win. Let's see, I'll just mess with him. Oh, he's trying to drop my defenses. Come on, tackle him, tackle him, tackle him. There we go. Uh, anyway, so this is the end of the first part of Pokemon Silver. And I look forward to seeing you in part two. Catch you later, dudes.